and welcome. This is the next in my series of little chats that I'm having with textile, um, textile artists and enthusiasts and makers. And it's a great way for me to keep in touch with other lovely people. So today I'm very privileged to have with me Pauline Burbage. And we have met several times at Festival of the World and I've admired your work for such a long time. It's really lovely to have you with me today, Pauline. Welcome. Thank you for asking me. It's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm really intrigued to hear how people are keeping themselves busy at the moment during this, this strange period of time. Um, yes, well, Basically, I'm, I'm always busy on some stitching projects and so I'm continuing to um, work in the studio. Um, so it's great that I've got the work to go to and I've been, as always in recent years, developing the two types of quilts that I make, which one is the quiltscapes, which are like textile landscapes, wall hangings, those ones. And then I also make what I call my quilt line pieces. And there's an example of, my, of a quilt line piece just behind me here. So they're more like my drawings really. And they turn into practical and usable quilts. Um, and so I've been having great fun just doing lots of drawing um, and putting the drawing directly onto fabric and, um, and then and then drawing with my stitching as well as I go through making the quilts. And what type of what type of media do you like to use to draw with on paper and what type of media do you like to draw with on fabric? Um, I like my lovely basic tools, pencil and paper <laughs> is one of those things. So I do, I do make Lot, I do lots of drawings, um, uh, so this sort of thing, you know, I, I kind of fill sketchbooks with very quick, speedy drawing. So I, I, I tend to take a sketchbook out and, and um, go roaming just around the garden, particularly now with the lockdown, I'm, I'm starting a project called Rich Boundaries. <laughs> um, and it's the, the rich boundaries around my garden. So I'm doing lots of drawings of the, the lovely growth in the plants that are growing around the edges of the garden. Um, and that's turning into a project of the moment connected with lockdown, really. <laughs> well, that's, that's perfect. There's so many of us have got um, particular projects that we're working on that are re a re direct response to this particular situation. And yeah. when, you, when you translate into one of the quilts, how does that manifest itself? So I draw with the Markle stick and directly on the fabric. And then this piece of fabric is now made fast and laundered. So uh, you can see that it's, it's got a good quality to, to the drawn line and this is it after it's been launched and then I take it up to my quilting machine and I start drawing with the, on, on the fabric through the wadding through the backing fabric um, and as the quilting stitching so I'm doing a, a running stitch with the long arm quilting machine yes I've seen I've seen yeah. your long arm it looks quite fabulous I'm so encourage Pauline that you love drawing as much as I do. Mm. It really <laughs> underpins both of our, our base practices I feel. Yeah, there's something that is very special about just sit, sitting and drawing and that concentration um, that you put into it and everything else disappears from your mind you know. <laughs> um, and, <laughs> Do you have any exhibitions in the pipeline? Um, I do actually, and that is, it's, it's a nice long time ahead. So it's like, 
at the moment, spring 2022 is what I'm working towards. And it's like a, a joint exhibition with my husband, Charlie, who mm. does these lovely, great big drawings. Uh, and it will be in the Rithin Craft Centre up in North Wales, which is such a wonderful purpose-built building to show artwork and craft working. I'm aiming to make a wall of these quilts and you see how they're double-sided. Um, so I want to show them so that uh, the audience, people can walk either side of the quilts and see both sides of them. Yeah. What a beautiful idea, that's fabulous. A real installation of fabric and quilting. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Pauline, thank you so much for talking to me today. It's short and sweet, but yeah. um, I know that uh, a lot of people watching this will really have enjoyed listening to a little bit of your process and be encouraged to go and see your exhibition when it hits a gallery near that. Okay. <laughs> thank you.